People have a lot of organs packed from their shoulders to their hips, and pain in one area can radiate to another. Problems that can mimic symptoms of an acute MI include aortic dissection. Patients who are experiencing chest pain radiating to their back may get a stop in the CT scan to rule out dissection before thrombolytics or before going to the cardiac catheterization lab for intervention. Pericarditis can fool even the best cardiologist into thinking the patient is having an MI. Pulmonary embolism is usually described as a sharp pain associated with respiration. Pericardial tamponade will usually stop the mechanical function of a heart if it is an acute trauma, but over a long period of time you would be surprised at the amount of fluid that can accumulate around the heart and it still continue to function. Arrhythmias can cause ST changes on an EKG, but the problem with arrhythmias is you don't know if the changes are due to the arrhythmia or CAD. If possible, the arrhythmia needs to be eliminated so the underlying rhythm can then be interpreted. Angina is usually chest pain that can be eliminated through medical means. Nitroglycerin, aspirin, oxygen, anticoagulants, etc. Any weak heart under stress can cause chest pain, so heart failure patients could present with AMI symptoms and simply have exacerbation of their heart failure. Finally, GI and musculoskeletal problems can also mimic the symptoms of an AMI. For this reason, we must always get the 12-lead EKG.